test. Today we're looking at the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray. Now before this bass was the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray, it was just a Music Man Stingray. What happened was Leo Fender had sold his company in 1965 and part of that sale he had to sign a uh, non-competition clause. So he was not allowed to compete against Fender for 10 years. And amazingly, like incredible, 10 years almost to the day, Leo Fender comes out with a new company called Music Man and he designs this. This thing hits the production line in 1976 and it is a groundbreaking instrument. The Stingray was one of the first basses with an active preamp. Single humbucker placed into the bridge position to give it more focus and punch. Ash body, which up until that point wasn't widely used in basses, but the ash of course is like bell-like in its tonal response. Beautiful kind of definition down low. Full maple neck, maple fretboard, and the three plus one headstock design. Another classic headstock, like from, from this bloke who designed the precision bass, the jazz bass, the strat, the telly. He comes out with this, what can't he do? So this bass has been used by so many different players from Flea to Tim Comerford, to Pino Palladino, to Tony Levin, like all genres of music have had Stingrays played within those genres. It is a classic bass that is unmistakable in tone. And that tone can work across all styles of music. Let me just pull this up. This is the latest generation, which is the Stingray Special. So new body contouring, new lighter weight hardware, new voicing on the preamp, new El Nico in the, in the pickup. And this one, this thing weighs three kilograms. Have you ever picked up a Stingray that weighs three kilos? It's incredible. We've just seen the new pricing on Stingrays and they are about to go up considerably because the dollar has sunk. So if you ever thought about owning a Stingray, now's the time. We've got quite a few, as you can see, and I've got more coming this week. There's a black one coming, and there is a, I think they call it an antique white on its way as well. Let me, uh, I'll show it to you with a pick. What is it? Here we go. days get one one of the all-time classics you'll never regret owning a stingray they are beautiful instruments and a piece of rock and roll history a piece of Lino Fender's history have a great Easter take care stay well